All right, so depending on where your junction box is, whether it's on the wall or on the ceiling, you can install this either way. And we're gonna go ahead and begin the wiring process. Hi everyone, my name is Anika and welcome back to the Home Automation X channel. Thank you so much for watching. So we have had the Ring floodlight camera for over a year now and it's been working wonderful. A family member just picked up the Ring Spotlight and suggested that we do a review on it before they install it. If it works just as well, we might end up keeping it for ourselves. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and click that bell icon to get notified when we release new videos. Also, please use our Amazon links if you shop on Amazon. Those links are in every one of our videos and they really help us out. Finally, if you want to see our videos weeks before anyone else does, see our Patreon link down below for all the details on that. We have the ring protection plan, which allows us to save our video history for 60 days on an unlimited amount of cameras. So with our floodlight, the spotlight, our video doorbell pro and the stick up cam, we get all of this monitored for a hundred dollars per year. That price also includes 24 seven monitoring on our ring alarm. So the police are just an arm's length away. The main difference between this and the floodlight are the two bright LED strips that turn on when the motion is detected. They can also be set to turn on during a schedule. Also, it's not as big and as bulky as a floodlight camera. Some features I like about it are you can customize your motion zones to focus on the most important areas of your yard and it links with your Echo Spot or your Echo Show, which I will show you soon. The specs of the spotlight camera are 1080p HD, 140 degree field of view, and two-way audio. The motion detection is 270 degree angle and 110 decibel alarm. The main reason I like the floodlight and the spotlight camera are it will shine its lights and start recording video whenever your motion sensors are triggered. So let's go to the front of the house guys and install it, then go through the app and see how the video quality looks. All right guys, so we are outside and we're gonna go ahead and install this bad boy. Now before we do, you wanna make sure the power is turned off. We're not gonna zap myself today, but if you do wanna see me get electrocuted, then definitely check out the Pavlock conditioning device, that watch. That is actually deadly. But um, over here, we have our plate. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna install our plate into this junction box here. Now ours is shaped as a circle, so we're gonna stick to this one, but it also comes with a vertical plate and it also has a horizontal one as well. And you can also screw off the head of this simply by just turning it this way pulling it out and this just makes the installation a lot more cleaner and easier and we're gonna go ahead and begin the wiring process all right so depending on where your junction box is whether it's on the wall or on the ceiling you can install this either way and we're gonna go ahead and begin the wiring process so as you can see there are three wires here now we covered the red wire because this one is for additional lighting and we're only gonna focus on the white and the black and we're gonna match both of them to both of the wires that we have here so I'm simply gonna take one of our little caps and grab the white one first as you can see, we're going to make sure they're together and put that bad boy in there. You want to twist it until you can't twist anymore. You want to make sure it's nice and sturdy and you're more than welcome to use some electrical tape in order to make it a little bit more, you know, sturdy and safe. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the black wire. This time I don't have my crazy nails on, so life is a lot more easier. All right, so those are on nice and sturdy, and we got our handy dandy little Bob the Builder here, and we got 
our screws that is provided. I'm going to go ahead and take these two areas right here and I'm going to screw those in. I'm going to shove in all the wires just gently like that. All right, so our screws are nice and sturdy. Now, I did forget to mention that it does come with extra gaskets in case you wanted some extra sealing for weatherproofing. In this case, we are going to not do it. We don't need it. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera and insert it like so, twist it this way. And to ensure that your camera is not going to be stolen, taken by somebody else, you want to make sure you screw in an extra screw in there to make sure it's dirty. So there we have it. Now you can turn around your camera just like that and do whatever you want to do and have it face whatever direction you want to face. All right, so luckily I didn't get electrocuted when I was installing the spotlight, but if you do want to see me get zapped, definitely check out my video on the Pavlock here. So we have the Echo Show 5 here, and I'm going to show you guys how we can see our live view. If we get any alerts, we can always have her bring it up for us. Alexa, show me the front spotlight. Okay. All right, so we have a live view of our front spotlight in the palms of our hands. Also times like when you're being lazy and watching TV and you really just don't want to pick up your phone to look at any motion detection, you can definitely just pull it up easily on your Echo Show. Not to confuse you, but we already installed the spotlight camera at our friend's place, but we forgot to go through the app settings. So I'll be doing that now using their location. So here is the live view of where it is installed and it looks nice in their backyard. I will turn on motion alerts. The first thing I will do is set up my motion zones here. This is the feature that separates this from all the other battery cameras. Now you can see I have drawn out your, I have drawn out the motion zones to eliminate any false alerts that cars or you know kids walking by the house will bring up. Now I will click on light settings, and I can also create a motion area for when I want the lights to turn on. I can now tap on the area to turn it on or off and also set the distance between minimum and maximum. As you can see here, I have the light set to the brightest by clicking on now event history. I can see the recent activity for everything that has occurred. Now I don't want to click on their motion alerts, but I have one here from when it was previously installed. Hmm. I wonder who that person is. Anyways, I can also check live view to see what is happening at any time. Now, the spotlight is very much the same as the camera as the ring floodlight and works just as well. It has a two-way talk, which I will show you right here. All right, so let's test out the voice feature. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the call here. Hello, can you hear me? So we are at a close distance, so you can hear my echo. Testing out the voice feature. Hello, can you hear me? All right, I'm gonna make my way outside. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hi, hi everyone. We put the link in the description box on where you can get more information on this item. Thank you so much for watching guys. I ask that if you found this video useful, you can please share it with your friends and your family. Also, there are these videos here on the side that you can also check out. The video on the top is the most recent one and the one below that is the one that I recommend just for you. Thank you so much for watching once again, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.